Welcome to today's video, Understanding Fractions, Unit Fractions of a Whole. Remember from our last video, a fraction is a number that names an equal part of a whole or part of a group. Take for instance, these two whole pizzas. They're cut differently, but nonetheless, they're equal slices. This slice is considered a fraction of the pizza. This slice is also considered a fraction of the pizza. Stop the music! I said stop the music! Mr. Pizza, I'm so sorry. You're interrupting my video. I'm trying to make a video for my students. Is there something I can help you with, Mr. Pizza? Hold on one pepperoni minute. So you're telling me that I, me, this delicious pizza is not a whole pizza? <laughs> really funny. You're kidding, right? You're kidding. No, Mr. Pizza, I'm not kidding. Now, if you don't mind, I would love to get back to my video. Thank you. Now, where were we? Sorry about that interruption there. In a fraction, the top number tells how many equal parts are being counted. So you would draw a line, a bar like this, to separate the top from the bottom, and the top number would represent the equal parts being counted. In a fraction, the bottom number tells how many equal parts are in the whole. How many equal parts the whole is broken into. In this case, let's say it's five. So that's one-fifth and it's represented here. I'm going to use a circle instead, not a pizza, because I don't want to offend Mr. Pizza. What fraction of the circle is not shaded orange? Well, let's count the total amount of pieces that are in the fraction. There are a total of five, so five will be the bottom number. Now we have to count the number of parts that are not shaded. There's only one part that's not shaded, so that one becomes our top number. So this is one-fifth. And the one-fifth represents a unit fraction. Now a unit fraction names one equal part of a whole. It has one as its top number. One-fifth is a unit fraction. And Mr. Pizza doesn't know it, but he's a unit fraction. Shh, don't tell him. Now, what fraction names the shaded part that is colored, or the part that is colored? We're looking at two total pieces. So two would be my bottom number, and one is my top number. This is one half, and one half is a unit fraction. It names one part of the whole. It has one as its top number. Take a look at this fraction. Draw your bar again, and then you count all the total pieces, total equal pieces of the whole. There's three equal pieces, but there's only one shaded, so this is one third. One third is a unit fraction. It names a part of the whole, one part of the whole, and has one as the top number. Again, try this one. Draw your bar to separate the top and bottom. Let's count all the equal parts in the fraction. In this case, there's six equal parts, so that's right. Six becomes your bottom number, and one part shaded would be your top number. So one six is a unit fraction. It names one part of the whole and has one as the top number. How about this one? I think you're getting the idea now, right? So you draw your bar to separate the top and bottom, count the total amount of pieces that you see. There's a total of four. Four becomes your bottom number, and one becomes your top number. So one-fourth is a unit fraction. It names one part of the whole. It has one as its top number. Very good, you're doing great. So now, let's go ahead and name these top and bottom numbers. The top number is called a numerator. And in a fraction, the bottom number is actually called the denominator. Keep those in mind, numerator at the top, denominator at the bottom. So what did we learn today? 
we learned that a fraction is a number that names an equal part of a whole or equal part of a group. A slice of pizza is a fraction. We also learned that in a fraction, the top number tells how many equal parts are being counted. So one sixth is a fraction with six at the bottom. In a fraction, the bottom number tells me the total equal parts in the whole. And then we consider one sixth to be a unit fraction. A unit fraction names one equal part of a whole. It has one as its top number. And in a fraction, the top number is called the numerator. In a fraction, the bottom number, again, is called the denominator. Mr. Taco, can you believe I'm a fraction and not a whole pizza? Well, I'm a whole taco. What?